Black incision and grafting, in contrast to plication surgery, operates on the plaque. We're not going to the side opposite the plaque, we're going to the side of the plaque where the scar is. We do a circumcising incision, we pull the skin down on the penis, and then we make a special cut in that scar. If we're doing plaque incision on the dorsum, the top surface of the penis, the sensation nerves run right along the top surface of the penis. So the first step in that operation is to take those nerves and lift them off the plaque. The beauty of plaque incision grafting is that you can take somebody with very complicated curvature and get them completely straight and remove all indentations. The problems are, if we're doing a dorsal plaque incision and grafting, we're lifting up the, the neurovascular bundle, then those patients are at risk for having nerve sensation loss, nerve damage, and risk for erectile dysfunction. And it's very important that patients have realistic expectations when they go into this operation, and they must be told about those two factors. So if patients speak to a surgeon, and those two issues are not brought up, then I believe that patient is not being fully informed, and that is not an informed consent. The maneuvers that we use to lift those nerve bundles off the scar will almost certainly always cause at least some temporary loss of sensation in the penis. So a week after surgery, more than 50% of patients in my practice will say, yes, I've got a little sensation loss on the shaft or on the head of my penis. But by six months, that is invariably almost always corrected. The other issue with plaque incision and grafting surgery is the concern about erectile dysfunction, okay? If a man walks into me and he needs plaque incision and grafting and he has perfect erections before his operation, he has a 25% chance of significant reduction in his erection hardness and his ability to sustain an erection after the operation. So plaque incision and grafting really is the most complex of the operations that we use for the correction of deformity in men with Peyronie's disease. This is an operation that a patient should have only done by somebody who does this with regularity or has at least a significant lifetime experience. This is a long operation. In our hands, it takes anywhere from four to six hours. Men stay in hospital overnight. They have a drain on the skin on their penis overnight. We remove that the next day. They leave the next day. And typically, they are out of work for a couple of weeks. That's very different than plication surgery where our patients are out of the office for two to three days. So it's a very, very different operation. Patients who have hourglass deformity or indentations are the ideal candidates for plaque incision and grafting. And those men with very severe degrees of curvature, men over 60 degrees. So the average patient who gets plaque incision and grafting in my practice has 65 degrees. And routinely we see men who have 90 degrees of curvature.